the very next question usually comes to what should I not do when a friend of mine has lost a baby, they've ever had a miscarriage, a stillbirth, or an infant death. And um, now I said show up. That's the biggest part of supporting a friend. While there, please don't talk too much, <laughs> especially if they're asking, oh, so what happened? Please talk to me about it, especially if they're not ready. Because we feel when people are crying, it gets awkward. And I mean, it's a sad, a sad moment. But so what will happen is that we will usually feel like the need to talk and talk and talk. And what that does is that we end up saying some really insensitive stuff. So we'll be over there saying, oh, don't worry, you guys are young. You'll have another child. Oh, it's God's will. God knew. I mean, we find ourselves saying all this stuff in the effort to comfort. A lot of moms and dads who've lost a child will always tell you, nobody ever said something to me, to me that was mean on purpose. But there's just that need to always say something. Don't get that pressure. So, um, yeah, so just come um, and sit in that awkwardness. And here's my second point. Uh, do not feel the need to be too optimistic too soon. You know, friendship is like, let's go have fun and uh, something amazing is happening to me. Oh, I got a job. I'm getting married. The excitement. But there's also the sad parts of life. And we need to be okay with those parts of life, like without awkwardness. So if something is going on with your friend, like, don't be like, oh, you should be so happy because at least, or at least be grateful that you now know you can get pregnant. Like, it's like sitting in a dark room, I would say. Let's make ourselves comfortable in the dark for a while. Like, you don't have to be, like, switching on the lights and let's look at the bright side of life. Something horrible has happened to them. Let them just process it. There's a saying that says that grief is a, pro is a price we pay for love. So they are actually just missing somebody they loved that died. And that's okay. Allow them that time. Um, and then finally, do not rush your friends to grieve. Don't be like, hey, Bana, it's been like six months. Why haven't you moved on? Why are we still crying? What's wrong with you? People grieve so, so differently. And there will be, uh, there are several videos you can check out that we've done on how men grieve, how women grieve and things like that. So go easy on people. Be patient with them. Do not rush them. And if you can find a way to remember their child, don't feel awkward about it and remind them whenever they want to talk about it.